Um, I want everybody to say good morning <laughs> to Miss Rosa Burks. Good morning. Hello. Um, so, so let me give a little bit of introduction to Miss Rosa Burks. Um, number one, first and foremost, she is a woman that is on top of her business, baby. Rosa is the owner of Simplicity, your one-stop shop destination for interior design, home styling, seasonal decor, and so much more. She also owns Simple Events, an event space right next to her brick and mortar store. And she has a new nonprofit that she's going to share some information with us today called Simply Snacks. And if, as if she doesn't do enough, she also does real estate investment with her husband. But today it ain't about the men, baby. It's about <laughs> the ladies, okay? So I want everybody to give Rosa Burks a hand clap. Thank her for joining <laughs> our, I don't know, you do you call this a panel if it's just two people? I think so. I don't think it's a panel. I well, it's so. going to be a panel of two panel. today. Yeah. <laughs> so good morning, Miss Rosa. Thank you for joining. Good morning. Um, we're going to hop right on in. So every guest that joins us on our woman to woman panel, I'm going to ask her uh, five of the same questions. All of our guests will get the same five questions, but I have a cute little bonus question at the end or game, I should say. OK, so our first question is going to be tell us, Miss Rosa, about your business. What is your did you choose it? Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me, Ashley. This is a beautiful platform and a wonderful job that you're doing and supporting other women, especially this thank one. You. So thank you. Um, mm -hmm. My chosen industry is basically all things home. You kind of heard it earlier with the introduction. I have a brick and mortar storefront. So I have home decor gifts. It's kind of lifestyle now because I have some clothing items. I do a lot of seasonal decor. Christmas is my largest holiday, but we're about to jump mm -hmm. into spring with all of that. <laughs> and um, I do interior design and home styling. So basically everything home. Um, I kind of awesome. always loved uh, my very first job as a child. I said I wanted to be an architect. So I've mm -hmm. always loved home things. But my husband got into real estate um, several years ago and needed a stager. For his property. So he was like, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I need your help. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I started um, staging properties and it just snowballed from there. As an entrepreneur, what challenges or obstacles have you encountered that you know are specific to being a woman? And how did you overcome those obstacles? Well, as you mentioned earlier, I do real estate investing with my husband. So oftentimes mm -hmm. people attribute, attribute my success or what I'm doing directly to my husband, um, okay. which is it gives like that Beyonce, like I'm not just his little wife. You know, <laughs> he's mm -hmm. been a huge motivation. He's been a great supporter of all of the things. But simplicity Absolutely. is strictly my brand, my business. You know, all of those things and that I do are all me. So mm -hmm. that's one huge thing. I don't think men often get that kind of um, mistake when it comes to their Agreed. business or their success. So that's one huge thing. Mm -hmm. And um, another one is I, earn, I own my commercial property. So when... Big um, flex. I'm sorry. <laughs> so okay, go when, ahead. <laughs> when um, getting manufacturers or wholesalers to give me like product lines or things like that, it's also... Um, Where's your lease? Where's your lease? You know, mm. where, you know, and I don't constant, know what that is. Yeah, I, I don't have one of those. <laughs> so um, I'm like, I can give you the paperwork for the ownership. But, it, you know, so some of those um, assumptions are, mm -hmm. I think, attributed strictly because I'm a woman in business. And it's really sad because we can do so much to accomplish so many things. And however, still, it has to be attached to a man. And understand, nothing wrong at all with the honey supporting. Right. However, we can make some great strides too. So exactly, that's some great input. Do you feel that being a business owner has allowed more space for you to embrace your womanhood and motherhood? Absolutely. Um, like I mentioned earlier, as a child, I've always been creative. So um Growing up and being a woman and being able to be creative as an adult has been huge for me. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter is watching me 
every little detail that I do. So she even sets her toys up like she has a storefront and sells Aww. her toys. Um, so awesome. that is a huge thing as a mother and as a woman to know that I am being a role model to my daughter and even her cousins have mentioned before, you know, like, oh, I didn't know I could have my own business or have my right. own store. Yeah. So as a woman and seeing that little girls are watching me, it's it's been very empowering and motivating mm-hmm. <laughs> to me to know that the little eyes are watching and even my yes. own daughter is modeling after me. So she may not do it, you know, as an adult, but just to know that mommy could be a mom and yeah. a boss, then absolutely, it's a good, good example. I love that. I love that. So how, as an entrepreneur, how has entrepreneurship impact your overall life? Ooh, that is a loaded question. (laughs) It is. Listen, give us the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're here to tell the people the truth. Okay. So we're going to do a little sandwich. We're going to do something positive, negative, positive. (laughs) There you go. Clean it up. Clean it up. (laughs) So entrepreneurship, everyone loves to seek entrepreneurship because you have so much freedom with your time. So that is a good thing. I get to control my schedule, what I've got going on. It's very positive. I get to be creative. Like I mentioned earlier, I I get to make things beautiful all of the time. But everything ain't always so beautiful. (laughs) Mm -mm. You've got your own struggles. You've got to make Mm -hmm. your own money, create your own coin, which is huge. Absolutely. On a regular basis, the bill's going to be there, whether you make the pretty spaces or not. (laughs) Yes. And we have free time, but you have your own, you're on all day, all day long. Mm -hmm. You work nonstop. You're up sending out emails at, you know, 10 o'clock at night. You're up first thing in the morning. I mean, it's all What time did I email you last night? Yeah, it was almost 10 (laughs) o'clock. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> exactly. So, and I was up answering, responding because I was mm-hmm. doing my stuff too. So, it's a huge, huge journey. It's it's a lot of highs and lows. It's mm-hmm. it's a roller coaster. I'm grateful for it. I'm proud of myself for as far. I've only been doing it for a few years now, so I'm very proud of myself. But it is it's a lot. It is a lot. It is. And I am so grateful when I have other entrepreneurs share the good and the bad and the ugly. Because like you said, it's so easy to look at the highlight reels on social media. Mm -hmm. We make it real good online. Mm -hmm. However, people need to be honest about the bad and the dark sides. Because like Rosa said, I'm up organizing this last night at 10 o'clock at night, making sure that everything is ready to go. When you are a business owner, there is really never an off day. Let's say it like that. Um, there is nothing wrong at all with operating a business. There's nothing wrong at all with operating a nine to five career. However, the reality is with those W2 employment situations, you get to go home. When you are a business owner, there is no home. There is no cutting off. No. They're looking for you. <laughs> we need the business owner. Who's going to answer? So absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for your transparency. If you could share three business related tips, what would they be? And they can be related to work life balance. They can be related to if I knew then what I know now. What business related tips would you give to the people? Um, one business tip is <clears throat> marketing is huge. You have to be fearless. You cannot be afraid. You got to do whatever you got to do to market and to take advantage of all of the socials because it's a free platform mm-hmm. to market mm-hmm. your business. Um, so that's a huge thing. Um, there is no one fits all for business. Nobody has right. all of the answers for you. Unfortunately, you're going to have to learn some of that on your own. You can get some insight, obviously, from other people in your field or industry, but what work for somebody else. One of my friends said a long time ago, my my T-shirt don't feel like your T-shirt. You know, it just it just does, not, right. you know, so right. that it, it's not going to work for your business. Everything doesn't work for everybody. Mm-hmm. And a third tip is to not equate who you are to the success of your business. You know, mm, that that's, that's something. Good. Yeah, you you don't your value isn't your business. So if your Mm. business is having a low month or a low quarter, that doesn't mean that you're not successful. And that doesn't mean that your Mm -hmm. value is, you know, equal to whatever your, how your business is performing. That's good. Yeah. 
And to be that's grateful good. that you're giving employment to other people if you are. I think that's such a blessing to be able to employ other people. I agree. I agree. Um, I heard another creator um, speak to the fact of you have to almost be delusional in mm -hmm. promoting your business. Yeah. I know oftentimes we believe that because we haven't hit a certain pinnacle, we haven't hit a certain peak in our business, that we can't operate towards that goal. I tell people all the time, you need to structure and operate your business to where you want to go, not where you are. Mm -hmm. So when we are promoting these businesses, I don't care if I ain't got but two people watching. I come online and I stream like I'm talking to a million because mm -hmm. that's the goal. Mm -hmm. And Rosa, that was so yeah. prolific to say you are not the value of your business my worth isn't directly correlated with where my, my net worth is because right. again, where you are today has nothing to do with where you will be in a year, 10 years, 15, 20. Mm -hmm. So that girl snaps to Rosa for those, <laughs> for the gyms today. Um, uh Oh, Rosa, you still with us? Yep, I'm here. I'm there you here. Go. Okay. <laughs> Listen, business owner, that call came through, didn't it? Yes, it did. <laughs> I already do. <laughs> See, we can't even do podcasts. We got business calls to handle. That's what happens. Okay. Yes. So we have gone through all of our questions. I want to point out that at the bottom, one second, if you are watching on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, Miss Rosa girl has a website. Now, TikTok, I'm not quite sure if you all can see, but no worries. What I am going to do is make a small adjustment. Boom, right there. We got it. So this is Rosa's website. Although she has a brick and mortar store that you can physically uh, visit. She also has an online website, baby, and you can shop online. Do you hear me? And she's shipping all over the place. So there is absolutely <laughs> no excuse to not support. Just because you're not in her area does not mean that she can't get her items to you. So on the bottom of the screen, you see her website link, findsimplicity.com. She has some of the cutest home decor, accessories, jewelry, clothes. She got everything. Listen, so <laughs> what I need for y'all to do is make sure, number one, y'all visit that website. Also, Rosa is following me and I'm following her on TikTok. I am going to mm -hmm. upload her snippet. Um, when we finish, it may be by the end of the day. So y'all just be patient, <laughs> but I need everybody that is following me to be following Rosa by the end of the day. I'm giving y'all homework. Y'all know I put y'all to work. Y'all can't get these free <laughs> gems and not do any work. Okay. So before we close out, Rosa, I have a, would you rather question? Okay. Okay. So would you rather, and I feel like I know what the answer is going to be, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway. Okay. Would you rather a lifetime of free shopping at Target <laughs> or one dollar gallon gas for the rest of your life? Would you rather? Which one you picking? Oh, I'm gonna do Target. <laughs> See, I told you I thought I knew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's so much you so can do with that, girl. We could even resell <laughs> some of that Target and make oh, it some profit. Please, that's, that's where my mind be going to if I buy this for free and then I resell it. Listen, yeah, exactly. the inventory to the boutique and then exactly. I can pay whatever I want to pay for the gas. Exactly, exactly. Period. <laughs> like the way you think. Yeah. So before we wrap up, is there anything that you want to plug? Oh, I know we have your nonprofit. Yeah. Can you give us some information on your nonprofit and can you share how the people can support that for you? Yes. Um, so our nonprofit, it's official. We submitted all the paperwork a few months ago and got back all of the things from the government just in time. <laughs> so we uh, launched it in February. We did our very first um, drop. It's called Simple Snacks. We dropped all of the snacks off to some local schools. My boutique is in Nettleton, Mississippi. Nettleton, Mississippi has the highest free and reduced lunch numbers in the state of Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those children have a need. So weekend hunger happens in this tiny town in Mississippi where mm -hmm. students go over the weekend and they may not have anything to eat or they may not have enough to eat. Mom and daddy right. are working hard to get everything else they can get done and they just don't have enough money to get extra food. Right. So our job in our nonprofit is to provide snacks where students can, children can over the weekend pro provide food for themselves. They can prepare it 
you know, they don't need help from an adult. I've got right. on our on the website that she had, um, it sh- it has simple snacks on the on the sidebar. You click on that, it's got our Amazon wish list or a way to donate monetary donations. Every donation is gonna go to those children in Nettleton, Mississippi. We had um a local business donate enough snacks last week to provide for over a hundred students um that had Amen. the I know that had you know the the need that met the need for the snacks. So we're excited to be doing that. We know that all those things can spill over into how children learn, um, their emotional wellness at school. I, like I tell everybody, I'm a proud former educator, so I know being in the school system, how that can affect students in their learning environment too. Awesome. Awesome. So the, and I, I hate that I was trying to be proactive and put in another link for Simply Snacks, but what I will make sure is when I upload this information, y'all be prepared to support Simply Snacks. That is an incredible nonprofit. We need to do more in our community to encourage these young people in their education, as well as support them in knowing that people are here. Mm -hmm. And if they are not eating at home, Come on now. That's that's directly correlated with how they're able to develop and development is directly correlated with learning. So I appreciate that so much. We appreciate your hard work. So that is all that we have for today. Uh, Miss Rosa, I appreciate you so much for joining. Uh, Absolutely. Again, guys, I want you all to remember that this live will be posted. I'm going to try my best to get it up by the end of the day. (laughs) I'm going to give myself a challenge, but if it's not up by today, it'll be up tomorrow and I will link and tag all of Rosa's information so y'all can support her online online boutique as well as Simply Snacks, her new nonprofit, because it's an incredible initiative. And I will take a second to thank Miss Rosa again. Rosa, I appreciate you. I hope you go and do some incredible things today, baby. And we are speaking that free shopping at Target. I don't know how we're going to make it happen, but we're going to make it happen. Okay. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you so much. You are welcome. Have a good day. You too. Bye.